This video is presented by EA Create Network. Thank you, EA, for providing me a copy of the pack. Hello, hens. I've just finished recording my world overview, and I said that one thing I absolutely love is a multi-generational household, both in The Sims 4 like, and IRL. Like, I have my auntie lives with me. I'm planning to move in with my sister when I'm older. Like, I love multiple, not just like your immediate family all living together. I love seeing people with different people. You know what I'm trying to say with that, but I'm excited. And I thought, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to build a multi house. <laughs> I can smack myself out of excitement. I'm going to build a multi-generational household in The Sims 4 with growing together because what other perfect pack for me to do? It's also actually like blizzarding outside. There's an actual blizzard right now. So I am wrapped up in a uh, cover and it's f***ing heavy. Like it's Jesus. Anyway, so this is a world. I already have a world overview if you want to see it more in depth and like my review of it and stuff like that. There is quite a couple of empty lots to choose from. This one is like a you proper suburb and this one is kind of in the city center and then there's this one and i'm kind of leaning towards this one because it's really long and thin don't do anything with that statement this would be perfect for a house and then like a, a granny flat or something like that but there's also i don't know what theme i want to have it guys honestly i haven't feel that, felt this excited for a pack in so so long the snow is getting wetter these type of houses i don't know they just speak to me and we've only got them in that to kind of style here and they're not really usable so i want to build something like like that but usable like it is i'm gonna move the webcam so you can oh hello so you can see the snow like um it is like actually proper snow and good to know that's a style that i kind of want to go with i don't know i was going to build it this way but i don't know maybe i should build it that way and have a back garden or should i build you know what i'm just gonna build because honestly a size a fucking confidles me yeah nah yeah 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 i'm gonna build it on this side so this part is going to be the entrance of the house and this bit's going to be the back garden and stuff like that i do kind of want to have a garage area i might listen i'm just fucking theorizing right now right right we're gonna have to try and create a garage door out of that and all somehow so if we do something like that oh i think i'm fucking with it actually and then we could even do like a half wall moment going around there that might be a little bit that's more like a fucking three-quarter wall let's just make that a little bit shorter mm -hmm. i'm feeling it i know i said in a video recently that curved walls are not on my uh, fucking bingo card or whatever like that like i just don't think to use them i think i'm going to use them yes if you watch any of my videos building stuff like that does not tend to go smoothly for me you know what i didn't actually mean for that to be a platform but i might come back to the idea of that being a platform i actually meant to put a little rounded deck in because i thought it might look good with a small half what well, you can't use half holes on there hot beach see so, yeah, i don't know how i feel about that i'm just making the sides do that weird thing gonna have to be one of them you're a bitch unless i just done that i might have to just do that and then just make the the same height potentially maybe one thing about me is that when i'm building and i'm actually getting stuck on what i should do with the roof i can actually genuinely feel my heart rate and my blood pressure rising which is quite funny because i am literally only building a house in the sims and yet i am acting like i'm in an episode of the hunger games and i'm about to get shot by another random participant at any moment and i do feel like i'm going against the capital in the hunger game i've read the hunger games recently i don't know if that is shown through i'm in my dystopian era not in this pack though because this pack is my utopia maybe another word but the gameplay my absolute utopia so i decided to take some time off camera and actually put together a plan for the house so i could sit and enjoy the objects because at this point i hadn't seen any of the objects yet and i thought you know what i'm not going to use up any of my mental energy on figuring out a floor plan i want to use it on looking at the objects i made this thing come up to the top and i decided do you know what this is inspired by my grandma my grandma's got a little i mean to be fair my grandma's shed is literally she's nothing of the sort god bless her my grandma's shed is that big but my grandma's got a shed out the back garden which she goes and chills to and i thought that could be a good little addition i don't know whoever like it could even be a teenager's thing but i thought just some at the end of the garden because it also is a really long space so i decided to put some at the back to be useful for something and also the space of it all ended up uh, a lot bigger which you know what is probably good for a, a household like this the more space the merrier i guess so yeah we've got the base spacing don't mean to be a rhyme in there just to some people are just poets and they can't be tamed it's me i'm the poet so i think this bit is going to be like the main living area and then you're going to go downstairs to the bedroom which is always a unique thing you know you know, it's always a unique experience to have that kind of shit ggs to this house i might bring that out one more potentially like that because if we had a back door there sorry and then a front door there it might just look too much of the same so if we have a front and back door there and there it might make more cohesive sense i'm excited to play with all of the windows and stuff because like i said i have not touched this pack at all oh this is a it's a fun one why can't i place you on curved walls you little bitch i guess we're just gonna have to make those windows work those are the houses work colorful though so i don't just want to 
have this as like a ooh as a bar and brick or something like that. I think we should go for a fun colour. That is assaulting. Oh, these are bright. The cheese house. Interesting. Ooh, that dark blue is something. She's not nothing. Or even, you know, I think it's going to have to be the green, guys. I'm just a slag for green. I wish the lighting was different, though. The lighting's hitting the back better than it's hitting the front. So the front kind of looks quite sad, to be honest. We've even got matching freezes. Oh, love that. Do I make them both? Second wall height just so I can use them. I don't know. I don't know if that's necessary. Or maybe I just use it for the top one. And we just use that for the outside. I hate that they won't wrap around stairs like that. Like, it does genuinely ruin my day a little bit. And I don't know what colour to put with it. Like white's a good answer, but would black give some contrast? Guys, I'm a widowy, hidden a widow right now. I'm so excited. But I do need to make that look like a garage door. Sleek metal panels. Thank you. Or does green look better? I don't know. This is a part where I start psyching myself out. Maybe I need to change the stairs to black. I prefer that. Nice. Yeah, I think the black is a winner. I think the black is here to stay, guys. Right. I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy with the design of it. I just need maybe that why are you going under there okay you know i'll let you off did we get any new carpets with the pack we got some floor tile oh we got zero plants i know that there's definitely plants in debug though oh there we go no, I fucking hate when it does this to me. I guess I'm just too tough to cry. Okay, I'll use actual trees. I kind of want to use that as a little covered area for your... Oh, there's no colour that matches really apart from that green. But then that kind of clashes with everything. But I really wanted to use that as like a little... Just a little like, hidden area so you know if it's raining your sims. Like, Ooh, <laughs> you know. I'm getting into it, guys. I'm really getting into this, actually. Fine, I'm going to start working on the floor plan. I think he is probably a good place to put to put the stairs. Perfect. Mm, not so perfect. Maybe if I just move it one in front there we go because i don't like it when you get downstairs you've only got one space for a sim to go even though it doesn't really make a difference you know what i mean i just say you know what i care about my sims guys but that's it hey that's just me <laughs> unless you know what i could get rid of that and get rid of that like i could do with a little that moment and then that goes down to there why is this now not registering as a room oh it's because that right Floor plan time. So these are all of the bedrooms. So this is probably going to have to be like an entryway kind of thing. I'll have to find some way. Maybe we could have a long corridor. It could, you know what? It could work. One bedroom, two bedroom. This is the favorites bedroom because it leads out into the back garden. Lucky. Five bedrooms. And then this can actually be a little, I don't know. Actually, maybe I should maybe do that. Maybe this is a bit of a, uh, right guys. Honestly, I'm having thoughts. I've had thoughts. One thing about me, I can think guys, I can use my brain. This is going to be a bathroom that is shared between these two you know what i might make that a little bit smaller because you literally have backdoor access should i do that i don't know it kind of makes more sense because this is the backdoor access to have this as a not play area hmm. right i'll rethink this once more there's a bedroom with a private bathroom there's a bedroom with a private bathroom this is just one long entryway in a a gaming room or whatever. There's three bedrooms there. Granny, I'm sorry, this may have to be your bedroom. It potentially could be. It is what it is. Oh, so honestly, because this is your bedroom, I probably need to make it a little bit bigger. Right, so we have one, two, three bedrooms down here. And then up here, we have... That screams... That's begging to be a living room of some kind. So living room there. That could be like a kitchen, honestly. Potentially, I mean, it's kind of small. Or oh, this could be a bathroom. I do like those little sneaky stairs going down there. That is bringing me much joy. Living room's there. <laughs> this room's given prison cell a little bit, but it's fine. Fuck it. Right, that window's gone there. There we go. <laughs> You've been upgraded. Yeah, that's cracking that. And then upstairs, we have kitchen with an island, which leads on to the dining room. This is absolutely purposeful. I might even get rid of that bit and sneaky, sneak, sneak a little half wall in there and then make this go up there. I need to actually see the size of bootcases though, because this may this may not work. Oh no, that's a good size. Oh, that's a nice bootcase. But you know what? That might not actually be unique for that anyway i'm gonna keep the idea there for now i don't know she seems like the type of old house that will have some random like that in there i thought there wasn't a door oh my god there is doors babe where the fuck have i been honestly right that one's just been a bitch but i'm gonna give her a little bit and i'm gonna see if she comes around in the end because you know what she might right I've got my lights in. Doors. Oh, we have an archway. I do wish I would have got a chance to use this archway, but unfortunately, I do not. And we're just going to have to live with that. Why have you changed colour? No, you haven't. Honestly, I'm being fucking tormented by this game, I swear. I still haven't fucking put the doors in. Right, for the kitchen. All right, we've got absolutely nothing new. See, this is sometimes why I prefer. With some packs, I'm like, it's okay if you don't give me an entire brand new world. Do you know what I mean? It's all right if you just focus on objects and stuff like that, because with this, I really don't know what to do. Fuck it. That'll do. Oh, we have a new fridge. She's 
interesting. Oh, and a new kooka. She's interesting. Little gold touch. Oh, new bar stool. Right, right. I mean, you know what? There's not really enough space to fit a family here. I mean, four people get to have a seat and that's that. Now for the living room. God, I may need to get rid of that room, you know, because I just don't feel like that's going to be enough of a place. That's going to feel too squashed. Although, although that might not. I might get rid of that bit and have a fireplace there. I mean, I think that works. Why does that say also feel like I'm looking at it that angle. I might get rid of that. <gasps> oh, rocking chairs. Oh, that looks quite cute. Is that sent? And that's centered towards that, to be honest. I'm going to have to think about it. Oh my good guys. Fancy seeing you guys here. I have to be quite quietly because it's 20 to 12 and my cousin is staying around next door and it is a school night for him. So Ellis, if you can actually hear this, just get the fuck to sleep actually because you actually shouldn't be able to hear this because it's actually way past your bedtime. So that is 100% on you, Ellis. Uh, that is nothing to do with me at all. So, but I am trying to be respectful. Do you know what I mean? I actually ended up changing the entire vibe of this house and I'm really glad that I did because the outside is all dark and mysterious. But the inside is, you know what? The inside to me is... Phil and Claire Dunphy's house from Modern Family, which is the TV show. I, I really try and stick to the bill, guys, but I've just got so many thoughts going around in my head. Honestly, it's constant. But I love Modern Family. Modern Family is one of my all-time top TV shows. Like, it's up there with one of my favourite... Maybe even the, honestly. Maybe if I was stuck for some reason on an island and then I had a TV, would it be Modern Family? Or would it be Shit's Creek? That's the thing. But it's one of my favourite sitcoms. I, I had discovered it accidentally one day at uni. I put it on and that was it that got me through university thank you to modern family for that one love gloria gloria is probably my favorite which is not this is not really relevant to the build at all but it, the, the house does kind of give me a modern family vibe so maybe it's relevant i'll decide what's relevant anyway because i did the videos so I'm plumbella approved <laughs> really got ahead of myself there guys and i would really love to be able to say that i'm sorry but i'm really not i've had the best time of my life and you know what i haven't even done that many different things and you know what this is kind of a plain design but it's kind of simple but perhaps i'm kind of absolutely fucking loving it this is an interesting moment but i've decided to keep it i mean look at the picture walls and look at that oh god that scene is beautiful this is honestly i'm having the best time building one thing about me i absolutely love a picture wall i just i had a real issue with the kids Kitchen, which I'm sure you will have heard about. It worked out. It worked out. Full stop. One thing I really wanted to do, but obviously we didn't have a family moving in. I would love to put like family pictures on the wall. I'm obsessed with it. My current household literally only has family pictures on the wall. There's actually like quite a lot of pictures and it's actually kind of getting too much now. But still, I cannot be tamed. I cannot be stopped. Stopped. I'm just going to chick chicky size that up and just pretend that that's in fact a towel holder. And who's going to know? They're going to know. I am a bit sad that we didn't get a new shower, but you know what? It is what it is. Let me just check that's actually usable. Excuse me, moi darling. Can you just teleport, take a shower? No, okay. I will just get fucked. I haven't actually made uh, any <laughs> any toilet big enough to be able to fit a potty. So, so sorry to my toddlers. You will just be having to shit anywhere you know it's a free for all you now half the time i do hate myself because uh, i make these spaces right like this long corridor which is completely fine but then i remember that like i actually need to fill stuff in there and it's really difficult to fill stuff in there when i can't fucking see it's fine maybe even put a little runner in maybe i'm even having the best time of my life that's a really you know what that is uh that's a british hallway babe you know what the hallway, not my best work. Uh, you know what? I'm willing to hold my ha hands up on that one, guys. Not my best work. Not my best work. But it works. You know what I mean? You get from hither to hither. Right, the main bedroom. Do we have any beds? I, like, I literally... This is my first time experience build, experience in building by. We have that bed. That's a nice bed. I like that bed. That's like actually a proper big room. I feel like we could have made that room smaller, to be fair. To be completely honest with you guys, I really do feel like we could just... And we've literally got an extra room. So sorry to whoever is going to have to have the box room. At least now we've got a little bit of dimension to the hallway. Do you know what I mean? Like, at least now it's not just an endless place. You know what? It's even got room for a flower. That's not a flower. That's a plant. It's even got room for a plant. One thing about me, I'm quite heavily anti-big rooms i just really don't think that you need a big room don't get me wrong well i don't know i wouldn't necessarily say I've, i think this size that i'm actually building right now is probably the biggest room i've ever had i've had tiny rooms at uni and one thing i'll say about tiny rooms is they get messy so 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 fast but bigger rooms i mean this is like from my experience of the sims like i say but bigger rooms are so hard to feel cozy you have to put a lot of work in for them to feel cozy where this is so much cozier you know what fuck it i'll give them a tv 
movie. None of the pictures are tickling my fancy. I don't even think it needs a rug in there. I think it'd look too busy. You know what? That is a nice... I enjoy that room. I enjoy it a lot. Right, this room. I used to beg for a box room as a child, just in case anybody was curious. What is that? Oh, a backpack. Oh, shut the fuck up. Right, this one I think is going to be the infant's room. I mean, it's tiny, but like, what else do they need to do? Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, it's got a wall change master. Love that. Breaks my heart a little bit, actually. Right, that's the infant's room done. I had an incredible experience doing that. I think this one is going to be the... Because it's a multi... 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 multi it's a multi-generational home. So I think this is going to be the nanny nook. Nanny nook. New lord just dropped. This is like a, a painting of their home. I don't know where... They, I don't know. Fucking Sunset Valley or some shit. But yeah, that's their painting of their home that they that they lived in previously. And then they've come here because... Honestly, just with the cosy live all, like genuinely, it makes sense that a lot of people, you know, that this is working for people so that's what they're doing oh my god i didn't put a bin in upstairs the next room how many kids am i actually accounting for because i have six dining chairs up there and one high chair you my friend oh that is a cute bed look at the little dinosaurs i actually think you two should share a room this one can be a teenager's room because to be honest i don't trust two children with the outdoors right i'm either gonna go for that bed but i've already used that there so i don't want to just be like oh new bed let's place it everywhere so let me have a little bruise oh we've even got new bunk beds nice well what happened to the backpacks like i swear i saw a backpack in dresses one thing i love about building houses is just adding little bits a lot like i'm like oh yeah his two favorite movies are uh what's it called not luigi's mansion i don't know something to do with the dracula and then also for some reason spirited away that's how that's what i get from them and you know what that is my truth i actually like this room it's cool i would have loved this room right now the final bedroom i might change the color thingy of this around a little bit because i love the dinosaur beds oh, the green just doesn't really match the green oh <gasps> the space theme oh i think i want the space theme do we even have a space themed wallpaper <gasps> could i make a space themed wallpaper out of this maybe it does that give you it doesn't give me space this thing i'll be fucking honest with you but you know what i'm just desperate maybe that that's kind of no it's not it's not really given space at all actually it's genuinely not okay maybe i'll do that and a dark blue all around the edge and it's kind of like a space room i used to have a space room you know what maybe this is just a trip down memory lane for me maybe this is a completely self-serving build it potentially could be yeah we have a space man and that's strange of coded oh my god i'm a fucking idiot that's midnight hollow mm -hmm. oh look at the space rug i bloody love it you know what maybe i might move them from down there to up there because no one actually fucking delivers the bills for me anyway oh you know what i care about my sims that don't exist that don't actually live in this house because literally nobody exists but i care about them and i don't want them to have to travel all of that way oh we've got bikes you know what? I might put one of them where's where where the bloody hell are you, bitch? One of them down here. Or should it actually be outside? I just hate the fact that there's not that many colours of it. Because I want to put that outside and have it as a bike shed. But I think I'm gonna have to try and construct something of my own making, which you know what? I believe in myself. Mm. I don't want to believe in myself. You know what? I can do this, guys. I can actually do this. <gasps> Can't actually do this, guys. Can't actually do this, guys. Guys, I actually think this may potentially be working oh <gasps> i did it i did it i fucking did it fly little bike shed it's still in my fucking mouth literally why have you got to be such a bitch where is my roof gone okay we can't have a fence there guys but i'm being so chilled out and rational about it that i'm just like yeah it's just vibes well there's our bike shed you know it is what it is and you know what i fucking hate decorating back garden so i'm gonna do the back garden off camera oh my god best days after nearly three hours i am fine like my 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 makeup is falling off my face i've been here for so long today but i've had i'm having such a good time honestly guys i'm having the literally the best time of my life yeah it's all done honestly and i, I love this little back bit actually it's all done i feel like this back bit needs some wall decorations yeah fuck it we'll have a hose pipe and i also i probably wanted it to feel like a kid's house like kids were actually living there so now i can start the tour so this is what it looks like it's uh, I mean, I think I've done a decent job. It's actually quite small out here. I also forgot to decorate this back bit. Whoopsie doopsies, my darlings. Whoopsie doopsies. Absolutely love that I managed to hack that little roof section there with that little bike shed. I dreamed of it. Wish it, want it, do it. So then we go to the upside down house, enter into the entryway nice mirror there i wanted to keep it because like these houses kind of look like they potentially could be old but yeah 
You just know what I'm trying to say. So I wanted to keep some stuff that like looked like it could have been original, like this archway, the living room. Babe, where is my... Oh, there she is. Right, I don't know why she was fucking hiding from me there, but I did keep the plant pot idea. I just thought, you know what, it's a bit different. It might, it might just be something that makes you stop and look. I love that little corner bit there. And I just love that it feels like a family. Like it proper feels like a family could potentially live here. <laughs> Which is not like groundbreaking or anything. Like, it, um, you know, families have been known to live in homes in The Sims. But it feels lived in, but not in a way that like, it's cool. Like, I just really like all of the objects. We've got this really long, quite barren entryway. And then in here is this, this space skittle. It's a space bedroom. It's corn. I like it. I like it a lot. I also, when I was decorating, I found this little friendship thing. <gasps> That's the friendship bracelet thing. And then we have the little granny aboard. The shove your nana in here. Yeah, your nana will love it. Your nana will thank me later. And then the nursery just little cute box room uh fun fact most uk houses come with a box room that is like honestly i would say smaller than this i would say in sims terms it's three by three i have one and then in this room is the parents bedroom i actually love it i'm a big fan of it it's a bit chaotic and it's a bit much but you know what aren't we all oh jump scare <laughs> anyway moving into I don't know, teenager's room. It's very blue, just like me. I'm blue, dabba dee dabba die. And then this also is a secret little entryway into the back garden. Honestly, I'm actually proud of this back garden. I don't feel confident with back gardens in a way that I feel confident in like, do I feel confident in many things? I don't know, but like back gardens or like landscaping and stuff like that is definitely something where I don't feel that confident in. But I felt quite confident with this back garden. I like how it turned out. And then I realized that I made room for the grandma selflessly, you know, uh, in the house. So I thought, well, she doesn't actually have to live in the shed. My grandma's shed, she doesn't live in it, by the way. She just go like she just put like it's like a little recluse space or whatever. But I thought, you know what? This can still kind of be the grandma's area. So like she's made a little library for herself here. And then also there's a TV watching station but then I thought well this could be like a good skill building place you know so I'll put some skill building things in and then just because it can be hard to see as well like as I'm building this is the floor plan so this is the downstairs like I said it's an upside down house and then this is the upstairs so it's actually quite a lot bigger downstairs than it was upstairs but G fucking G I absolutely really enjoyed this guys this I will put this on the gallery I can't put it on the gallery yet because obviously maybe I don't know this might be out when embargo's out and if embargo's already out then I will have this but yeah thank you Eve provide me a copy of the pack i hope you enjoyed this build i really really enjoyed it it took me nearly three hours and you know what babe some of the best three hours of my life genuinely i've really enjoyed building with this pack do, uh, they really, like i do wish it came with kitchen counters though but i, I do think that about every pack <laughs> but yeah i love you all so so much please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one bye bitch